While Charles de Gaulle was out in Britain trying to take back France, Philippe Pétain was following Nazi orders, even when it looked like he wasn't. So today's question is, who is the battle general? First, let's look at the military experience. Philippe Pétain had been in the French army since 1876, and was the deputy prime minister or by the time the Battle of France began. On the other hand, de Gaulle was a brigadier general, which is still impressive and was in the army since 1909. They both fought in the Battle of Verdun, although Philippe Pétain had the higher rank. So it's safe to say Philippe won the war. Next, who was the better politician? While Pétain's highest rank was Prime Minister, de Gaulle served twice as the President of France. From 1959 to 1969, the goal was also Minister of Algerian Affairs from 1958 to 1959, Minister of Defense 1958 to 1959 again, the Leader of Free France 1940 to 1944, the first Chairman of the Provisional Government 1944 to 1946, and the President of the Council of Ministers 1958 to 1959. On the other hand, Pétain was the Minister of the State 1935, the Minister of War, 1934, Deputy Prime Minister, 1940, Prime Minister of France, 1940 to 1942, and the first Chief of France, 1940 to 1944. It's clear that the goal has won this time, so now it's your turn to decide. Who's better, the goal or Philippe Pétain? Put your answer in the comments section and why. I am not biased at all.